Hi friends, in this video, let us solve the error and error question asked in KDEC 2015 paper. The question is the electric field intensity of a plane wave traveling in free space is given by E. So, electric field is given by E is equal to AY 24 pi cos omega 2 minus KOX volt per meter. In this field, consider a square area. Square area is yes, uh, 10 by 10 centimeter on a plane. Plane is x plus y is equal to 1. What is the total average? Total that is very important. Time average power. So we know time average to power is given by p is equal to 1 by 2 e squared n cap right okay so e is given <coughs> sorry what is modulus of e magnitude of e that is 24 pi so 24 pi square divided by 2 eta eta is 120 pi okay n cap n cap is a direction of this p right so Power density is passing or wave power flow in the direction of wave propagation. So from this we understand wave is propagating through x direction. So n cap will be in x direction only. Because power flow is the direction of power flow is same as wave propagation, direction of wave propagation. So n cap is ax. So if you simplify p vector is equal to 7.53. X. This is what time average power. But what they ask is total time average power passing through the surface x plus y plus y equal to 1. Right? So total time average power is given by P dot ds. Right? So P we got ds we have to find. So ds vector I write as P dot ds n cap where n cap is a surface normal so surface normal is given by del f divided by mod del f right so what is f it is a plane right so x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 because they have given the plane is x plus y equal to 1 so f is equal to x plus y y minus 1 is equal to 0 so take diverge uh, gradient del f is given by so dou by dou x f a x dou by dou f a y. So if you simplify, what do you get is sorry, I got the answer. Del f is equal to a x a y. Similarly, mod del f. If you take a modulus value, it will become root two. So what is surface normal? Um, okay, sorry here I will erase it. Okay, surface normal is given by del f by f. So it is ax plus ay by root 2. Then we have to find about ds, right? So since wave is propagating in x direction, right? And plane is, right? Plane direction is given by it is y plus x plus y is equal to 1, right? Let us see again the question. You know, plane is x plus y is equal to 1. Right? So, since wave is propagating in x direction, so the wave surface normal, if in which direction, which plane, the which plane uh, actually this direction is normal to which plane, it must be normal to xy plane. Right? So, let us assume. So, I will draw here. If it is xy plane, let us assume this is x. This is y. So, what is the normal perpendicular to both? So, that is normal is z. But here, which in which direction the wave is propagating? The wave is propagating in x direction. So, normal. This normal is x means it is perpendicular to this plane. So, the plane must be in y is a direction. So, it may be y, it may be z. So, what is the area dx dy? Now we got dx dy, right? So now substitute in the formula p is equal to phi so 7.53 p vector ax 
dot n cap n cap is a x plus a y by root 2 right ds is dx dy now we got everything so if i simplify this the 1.53 by root 2 right a x dot a x 1 by root 2 that root 2 came out a x dot a y 0 so here dx dy so it is surface vector what is the length in x direction oh, oh, sorry dy dz sorry dy dz I told already since wave is propagating in uh, x direction, it must be y z. So dy dz, right? So dy dz in y direction 10 centimeter, x z direction 10 centimeter. So 0 to 10 centimeters, so 7.53 by root 2, 0 to 10 centimeter is 0.1. 0 to 10 centimeter dy dz if you integrate and finalize the answer it will be 0.53 watts in milliwatt it will be 53 milliwatts so the answer is 53 milliwatts fine so what is the answer okay sorry it is in milliwatts they are asking 53 milliwatts thank you